got into a job yesterday that was a bit alarming. It was a condominium complex with a lot of trees, and one of the primary trees that we had to prune was the uh, sunburst locust. And there was 14 of them in a row, and every single one of these trees was just loaded with dead branches. And I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but I got up in the trees and it became quite apparent that squirrels were the culprit. And I got to thinking about it, I thought, you know, can a squirrel kill a tree? And it became pretty clear that yes, they can. They can kill a tree and there's a lot of species of trees that they seem to prefer. And um, not only do they chew on the bark, as in these locust trees, but they also uh, do other damage. You know, they'll, they'll tear off some of the bark from redwood trees and use the redwood tree for the nesting material. So the point of this video is um, quite often in these complexes that we work in, the squirrel population is excessive. It becomes so overwhelming for a lot of reasons. You know, sometimes the people feed the squirrels. Um, there aren't any natural predators in these complexes. And they're, they're protected, believe it or not, they're, they're protected. So um, the population has reached a point where there are so many squirrels that they're all, you know, they're all trying to survive. And the trees are, are really taking the brunt of it. So anyways, uh, I, I want to show you what I found in this job. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the like button if you if you do like them, and uh, continue to follow. Thanks. One of my goals for this YouTube channel is to show as many topics that would answer questions for my clients. And squirrels come up quite often. A lot of people say, "What do I do about the squirrels?" The squirrels run onto my roof. The squirrels do this, the squirrels do that. Well, in this particular case, in this complex, the squirrels were doing irreparable damage to these trees. When I got up in the tree, I was doing the, the work up here. I, I'm in the bucket right now. And everywhere I look, the, the branches are, are either mostly dead or barely alive because of the squirrel chewing on the bark. I'm assuming that there's some sort of food value in the bark or maybe they're getting moisture because things have been hot. I'm not quite sure, but I do know that the population of the squirrels is a huge part of the problem. A few squirrels, not a big deal. Too many squirrels, look out. And some species of trees seem to be particular favorites. Here's some fresh damage. I saw a lot of, of bark being chewed off and throughout the whole tree. You know, so I was asked to prune these trees and do the best job I can, but it felt, it felt like a waste of time. And there was nests everywhere, and we were instructed not to take down the nests. Because if we take down the nests, then you end up with baby squirrels that you got to deal with, as well as the, the homeowners, the people that live there get upset. Oh, it's, a, it's kind of a vicious circle. And th that's the amount of brush I took out of just one tree. And as you can see, it's almost all dead, or the branches were, were almost entirely shot. That was kind of interesting. A redwood tree had a whole level of, of branches that broke off. So what do we do about this problem of squirrels? Well, I did have one complex I worked for years ago that um, they put out a, a bounty on these squirrels. And what they did is they went out and bought a bunch of have a heart traps and they set them out. They actually, what they did was they paid the gardeners five dollars a piece for every squirrel that they trapped. And they said, just release them someplace else. We don't want to know what you do with them. Just take care of it. And over the course of time, it became a bit of a, of a game, you know. <laughs> and uh, it cost them a few hundred dollars, but they really, really cut down on the squirrel population. Um, I know you shouldn't be poisoning these little critters and, and shooting them and trapping them in the open uh, quite often upsets the tenants and the people that live there. So this was kind of a sort of an undercover operation, but it worked.